Hello, I'm Florence Arman. You're watching The Perspective on the Jakarta Globe News Channel. As developing the tourism has become one of the key programs of Joko Widodo's administration, the hospitality industry has been forced to continuously grow, to continuously innovate, to answer to the growing demand of traveling experiences that is worth sharing and telling. Now, one such brand that is currently thriving in the Indonesian hospitality industry and tourism is La Pirate, whose founder, Fredo Taffin has said idea was ahead of time. Now to talk more about La Pirate, we have with us in the studio is the head of marketing of La Pirate, Luca Taffin. Welcome to the Jakarta Group News Channel and thank you for, thank for you. Uh, spending some time to, to join us and to share with us your perspective, not just to tell us about La Pirate, yeah. which we, you will get to later, but also to share with us your perspective on tourism and hospitality in the country. How did you first got, got on board of your father's passion here, shall we say? Well, for my father has been uh, living and working in Indonesia for over 15 years. Mm -hmm. his, his previous job was, uh, and current job is, is an architect in Bali based for working on projects such as coup d'etat, double six, mm -hmm. um, and other major nightclubs around Bali. His, his previous passion was in the hotel industry where he found co-founded and uh, designed the Wacker Group, mm -hmm. where, where uh, unfortunately that di didn't manage to continue and, and he's, he's managed to found his passion again in the recent years, uh, building the first hotel in Nusa Chiningan, which is a 10 key hotel with a restaurant and bar about 30 minutes from Bali. In 2013 in June. Yeah, in so June. So you'll be four years. Yeah, uh, about four years very soon. coming June. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, my intentions were never to come to Indonesia and, and work here. I was uh, born and raised in, I, w I lived in Bali until I was about eight years old um, and then went back to Australia for schooling and, uh, and was planning on doing some other endeavours back, back in Australia when I came here mm -hmm. for a two week holiday. I saw the pirate and just thought, well, it's pretty nice out here. I'm considering... Uh, maybe I'll maybe stay here for a while. Can I have a job? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess over the first first year, we took that, that property as, a, as an experiment in trying to understand the market and and uh, try to push its boundaries, change a little bit the F&B, change a bit the, the music culture, the way that we advertise it, join social media outlets like Instagram and Facebook. Um, and over the year, we, we, we saw that the, the guest satisfaction and the feedback was quite strong. So. Uh, it wasn't until the end of the first year that uh, my father Fredo decided to contact one of his previous clients into possibly going into further destinations in East Expanding Indonesia. Expanding the yeah. brand La Pirate. Yeah. But we, before we got to that, the, the idea of the name La Pirate came yep. about. I understand your father was a sailor yep. and this is how the idea came up. because. It, yeah, this is obviously <laughs> obviously the, the core background is, is coming from there, but, right. it, but he always, since since the day that I started working, is he's always considered us as, as rule breakers. So mm -hmm. we're the ones who want to go to destinations or go to areas where other people might consider. And we sort of try to go against the stream of conventional hotels. So the pirate doesn't necessarily just mean the ocean and being a sailor, but also in, in the way that we run our business and the areas that we go to and how we try to target our markets. Is, is completely different than your conventional hotel. And it is also unique that he's chosen Nusa Chiningan at the time um, mm -hmm. to develop a property where where accommodations are, if, if not available, they're very mm. scarce. We're talking about accommodation that, that, uh, and that offers different kind of experience yes. uh, to the travelers that you are targeting. And how has that grown now in, in that surrounding in Nusa Chiningan? In Nusa Chiningan, when we first got there, there was literally no other competitors. There was right. no other hotels. I mean, infrastructure was minimum. The roads weren't even paved. Uh, the suppliers didn't have any, any stock to provide us. We had to recruit the young children of the local villages who couldn't speak a word of English, um, had no background in hospitality whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So the, the beginning challenges were obviously there, how to face that. Um, and over the years, we've seen extreme growth within their skill level. Um, other local businesses have started to arise as well. So in general, the local economy is, has definitely benefited from from La Pirate coming there and highlighting this area as, as, as a potential travel destination. And we can only assume the amount of work that you and your dad yeah. put out into trying to 
uh, put the brand out. I myself uh, I found out about La Pirate through social media, Instagram, okay. which is very active, posting these beautiful serene blue, uh, prop blue and white combination, which is just striking to yeah, to catches, the catches the very eye. Ca yeah. it catches catches the eye. But this is also this is actually the the your target of audience, uh, the the millennials. Yeah, the millennials. Correct. Yeah, of course. Of yeah. course. Well, I am a millennial, and so yeah. I guess as soon as I sort of jumped on board with the I I was very hands on in the beginning stages making the cocktails, getting in the kitchen, serving the guests, trying to understand face to face what they wanted and what they were expecting. So you just came in there and said, Dad, we've got to change a few things around here. Well, I'm not working together, obviously, right, right, but, but okay. he was very open to listening to mm. what I had to say. And, and obviously, he's been in the industry for an extremely long time, so I had a lot of things and I'm still learning today. Uh, however, being being a millennial, he was very open-minded into into how how he could change his hotel to benefit this market. I mean, at an early stage, we, we realized that the social media engagement was quite strong. So mm -hmm. this is this is an area which he was not necessarily familiar with. Today, right. he definitely knows a lot more about it, for sure. But I think working together in that aspect uh, of his, his background and his history and my fresh energy managed to create a, a, a good, unique product. Mm -hmm. In your perspective, though, what are the traits of um, millennial travelers? How are they different yeah, than the previous generation? Yeah, I guess the previous generations were always looking for uh, an experience where they would travel in a family or as a couple and would be happy to book a hotel and, and they were booking really for the room. Right. And when you see these hotels such as the bigger, bigger chains in Nusa Dua mm -hmm. where people will come and stay there for a week or mm -hmm. 10 days and sort of spend most of their time inside that particular property. We're seeing now with millennials, they're, they're wanting to do shorter trips where they tick the boxes, where they've done a bit of research or seen images online, and they have this fear of missing out. I might have heard the text, the term FOMO. Um, but that doesn't take the experience away, though. No, it it's doesn't. It's just that it, they, they're looking to have it all at once. And right. obviously, by taking images and sharing these experiences, they like to travel in groups as well. So right. sharing experiences with your friends and family is, is is, is, is a more exciting way of traveling. So instead of, instead of ha wanting to sit down and stay in one spot, they're wanting to go to the Gillies, come to Nusa Lombongan, come back to Bali, check out their favorite restaurants, go to their hotel and come back home. So Very fast-paced yeah. uh, tra yeah. travel experience. All right, we'll talk more uh, with uh, Luca on the growth of La Pirate here in Indonesia when we come back after the short break.